When I was a child, I was sent to the Great Druid for training. Over time, I grew from a timid little girl into a skilled hunter. I mastered the arts of tracking and healing. But just as my training was coming to an end, I got a message from my father, Benedict, a well-known zoo magician. Alright folks, hello, hello, hello! We're going to be playing Midnight Calling Wise Dragon. Based on the name, I assume we're going to find a dragon in this particular game. Uh, we're doing this live with all the beautiful people watching along here in the chat. Uh, we're going to, of course, dive right into this game. Uh, look at her hair. Her hair is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's gorgeous. But I mean, how long would it take to actually shower and dry that? <laughs> I don't know. I agree, the music is gorgeous. The art in the intro is cute. And it's time for us to hit that play button. So we've got a casual mode, advanced mode, hardcore, and custom. Lots and lots of different options here for how you want to customize your experience. I'm not sure why she is casual and he's advanced, but that's cool. Diana, you must come immediately. I'm on the cusp of an important discovery, but I think I'm in danger. <laughs> My town's on fire. What happened? I don't know. Okay, so, uh, wow, that's quite a lot of fire there. Wait a minute, what's this little- oh my god, look at the little people running! This art style is interesting. Who's this thing here? Help! I'm trapped! No, please, no more Roman mythology! <laughs> the man's in trouble, I should help him, but I want to play with this cute thing here. Please. Would we like some interactive help? Why, uh, special features, please? Can I not click on this? <gasps> it's a collectible! Oh my gosh, it's a baby ice dragon! <laughs> wow! Alright, folks. Um, cool. That is that. I can't wait to have more adorable little cuddly collectibles let's see what else we can do here and I've said this before and I'll say it again uh, elephant games is known for their gorgeous gorgeous graphics let's see what we got here I should remove the rust hmm what about this pony here oh my god look at this little friend here what's this Oh no! Is that like a fox? I can pry up this latch with something flat. How about a glass shard? How about a horseshoe? Oh no, he wants to get out! Oh no! Hello, good night over on Mixer. Hi, how are you doing? I know, I feel like I should be... Maybe have a stronger sense of urgency. Look at these people running in the background. But I'm just too busy admiring how gorgeous this game looks. Rosie's Bakery. I can bend this chain if I find the right tool. Oh, the pretzels laying everywhere. We have a fragment. Apparently that's a collectible. The knob for this faucet must be nearby. <laughs> oh, I'm doing good. We're on day two of a four-day live stream extravaganza here. Uh, oh, I bet you we can cut the rope here. Cut the sheet. Cut the rope. We need a shoe. A spoon and a cup and a rope and a comb. Decoded flames. Thank you so much for the follow today. Uh, 
what do we have here? Zoo magician Professor Benedict? It's the door to my father's house. I'll scare away the bird once I find a pet. Okay, let's put the ladder up to save the day. I think that's dad. Handkerchief is not going to do me much good. I need to put out the flames. Look at how good those flames look. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a raccoon and not a fox? Seriously? Alright, how about a comb? Oh my gosh, the comb works! <gasps> it is a raccoon! It has like those... Oh! Uh, interesting. You found a pet who's happy to help. It'll recharge your access areas and banish dangerous animals. Okay. Let's have a look at our guide and we'll have a look at what our collectibles are. Looks like we are looking for fragments, collectibles, and morphing objects. So every scene has a green morphing object. Every scene has a bunch of collectibles, folks. So keep that in mind. Apparently there's... Oh, yep. There it is. Morphing object found. All right, let's lose, lose. Let's use the raccoon. Unfortunately, we didn't get to name this raccoon. <laughs> okay. I didn't know raccoons could do such things, but sure. I wasn't sure if this knob will work, but I need something to carry it, don't I? I need a cont container to collect the water. Mm-hmm. Now, I need a container for the water. Um... Not sure that'll work, no. Unicorn symbol. What is... Look at this, it looks like a dragon eye over here. Wow. Maybe we're gonna see Jon Snow in this, uh... Game. I don't think I can really get access to that either. Oh, I see. You can put that on there. Not enough to open it. Hmm. Uh, look at the bear. Hi, how are you doing? Good to see you back. Very cute cartoon raccoon. I agree. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Save the citizen from the fire. Apparently, we need to be over here. Oh, uh, too hot to touch with my bare hands. A savage raccoon. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's put out the fire. Save dad. I think that's dad. Maybe the man I saved can tell me what happened. Thank you, young Diana. A dragon attacked our town. Oh. It burned everything. People were hurt. Your father tried to stop the beast, oh. but he was taken. He had foreseen this event, so he gave me a message for you. So he is not our father, but dragons. He wants you to find a certain book in his study. It can help you to get into the lair of the dragon. I'm also supposed to give you these. He said they would be useful. Can you hear the screaming? Oh my gosh! I can get the magic book from my father's house. We need to get into father's house. Anvil goes on there. Very magic looking thing here. What is this? Oh. We gotta spin you right round, baby. Right round. Um, I'm always uh, worried about these puzzles because the one time I got caught and uh, didn't realize I could pick it up and move it. Hey, yeah, this doesn't look good at all. Gotta be the other way.
Hopefully it's not looking to be too accurate. Somebody stop the screaming! I can't take it anymore! Ah. Um. There we go. We now have the thing to get on. Oh yeah, this is our dad. Our dad was the zoo magician. So this is his door here. Uh, okay. Select two tokens in the top and bottom rows to swap them horizontally and create the center symbols. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, that one actually already works. Okay. I see. Hmm. Looking good so far. That one has to go there. That one there. It's all coming together nicely. Uh, we are just barely into the game, Grumpy. You have not missed too much at all. Ten minutes, max. That's a Cerebus, my father's watchdog. He won't let anyone but my father inside. Dark Obi, hello there over there on Mixer. Uh, good moon. Good night moon was there earlier. Okay. Um, what are we going to do with this thing? Hello, birdie. Kind of random. Fly, little birdie. You are free now. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Father taught me to calm an angry Cerebus by slipping a light sedative into his chow. Okay. Morphing object. That would be a... Okay, is this pink or purple? Or both? That is a... We have to snake charm the snake. So that is one of our collectibles, a fragment. Morphing objects are other collectibles. And I think we're collecting like little creature things. This, no, maybe not that. It looks like father didn't finish his plan. I've almost solved the mystery of the wise dragon. I'll complete the spell and find its castle in a few days. I need something to pull the drawer out. Okay. Put that over here. Get rid of this. Some pieces of the picture are still missing. Hmm. Purple with blue? Really? I think it looks pink and purple to me. I guess maybe back here it looks a little bit purplish. <laughs> the good old purple versus pink debate. One of my favorite. One of my favorite. Now, uh, guess we need to leave here. We have anti-rust. Ah, okay, let's go back out here. The anti-rust was needed over here. Mixed, is it? I think we can use this to maybe, uh, get in there, yep. And now we have tongs. Tongs it is. Not sure why we still have access to the scene here. Hey, I've got tongs! Maybe that'll be able to break that open. Oh, maybe this will do it instead. Yeah, get in there. I've got some glitter! It does have a bit of that Fearful Tales, Hansel and Gretel. It's got that very uh, soft, kind of cartoony animation to it. I like it. It, it reminds me of the uh, the newer Dark Parable games that Epix is putting together, where they have that kind of more anime look and feel to their art. I think it's a nice departure. Like, you can play other games by Alpha Games that have that more photorealistic view, but this is nice. It's more cartoony. And yeah, the kitty cat is totally eating I don't even know what. Hey, look, what's that little rabbit over there? No, that's not a rabbit. That's a rat. 
Or a mouse. It's a cute, adorable mouse. What is this cat eating? <laughs> Seriously. Hi there. Oh, I can click you. Oh, hello, Cracker. Thank you. Don't believe there's any morphing objects in the hidden object scenes. Not for an elephant game. Which is fine by me. Need a rolling pin. All these baked treats. Nom nom pretzels. Meat pie. Oh, I think that's what we're gonna feed our service. Drugged up meat pie, which I don't even know what that looks like in this context. 